Hi guys, let's talk makeup. And today I have a review and demo of the Physicians Formula The Healthy Foundation. Um, this is a drugstore foundation. I'll put the price up on the screen right now because I don't remember off the top of my head. I purchased mine at Ulta, so I was able to use the like um, $3.50 off coupon and stuff like that. And um, I've been using it on and off for a number of weeks and I finally felt like I had enough thoughts uh, finalized on this foundation to come on here and talk to all of you about it. Um, but what I'll do is I'll first show you how I apply it, I'll show it to you on my skin, and then I'll come back and give you my full thoughts. So let's get started with the demo. Okay, so first off, I'm in the shade DN3. This is one of the darkest shades that um, my Ulta had, and this is the dope applicator foundation which was really interesting and kind of weird uh, for me because I've never used a foundation with a doe foot um, but I do find that it is a nice form of application so this is what I just usually do kind of dotting it and spreading it um, over my skin it does make it quite easy uh, to apply and you know normally I hate when I get like foundation on my fingers and stuff like that and this just prevents any of that uh, from happening so that's really cool so note how the foundation <laughs> dots all over my face right now look darker than my actual skin tone now part of it is because my face is a little bit lighter than the rest of my body uh, but um, I, I wanted to note that because you'll see how um, that changes once I blend that in. Um, so I'm going in with a brush. This is a brush from a uh, Sonia Kashuk like Tarte collection. And this is just what I have handy. So I'm first, like when I'm first spreading it on my face, it, it like, it looks a little scary because um, it looks way too orange for me like I do lean a little bit warm in terms of my skin tone but this like every single time when I first apply it always looks too orange and it freaks me out but it is easy to apply it's not a runny foundation but it's not super thick either um, so the consistency is pretty nice easy to blend in it's not usually I avoid the under eye area because I will go in with concealer in there um, and then I pull it pull it down my neck a little okay so with I find that um, with a brush it takes me a little bit longer to spread this foundation all over my face um, I'm making sure everything's blended um, sometimes it's a little bit easier with the beauty blender but I don't hate the brush application um, and sometimes it's just whatever I'm feeling in the mood for and right now I've felt in the mood for the brush so just FYI sometimes the application is a little bit easier with a beauty blender you do kind of um, lose a little bit of the coverage but not a ton um, so as you can tell this is not a matte foundation it's kind of on the glowier side of foundations, but it's not super glowy either. Like, I prefer matte foundations, and um, this one scared me at first because of its glowiness, but um, it's not super duper glowy, as you can tell on here, but it does have some glow. Normally, I am an NC42 in matte foundation, so just for reference. All right, so let me go finish up the rest of my face makeup, and I'll come back. I'm back. So let's talk about this foundation. So first of all, um, I did go ahead and add concealer in my under eye. I used this Milani um, Little Conceal and Perfect um, Little Wheel in medium to dark. I have contour on, and I'm using the Kat Von D. Shady Business One. Um, I don't think they make this product anymore, but it's what I'm using at the moment. And for blush and highlight, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Afterglow Palette, which is super gorgeous. And I just hit pan on Wild Honey um, over here. So it's kind of um, helping me to use it. Um, but all right, a foundation. 
it's still um, kind of very glowy on my face and I know I have highlight and all of that but I, I, I do find there is a kind of glowiness um, to this foundation and um, like the the color tone on me is not quite right uh, I know I was talking about how like it blends in and, and then it ends up being okay uh, but right now I'm just not liking it um, I did not like this foundation for like the first week that I tried it. I did not like it. It's glowy and like I can feel the foundation battling with my oils. So I have very oily skin. Like not just oily on my T-zone but very oily. Um, so I again prefer matte foundations uh, but I can deal with demi matte or foundations that aren't matte when they can control my oils. Um, so as long as they can handle that then no problem for me. This one, on the other hand, I think um, battles with my oils, and um, I don't like it on its own. Like, I don't like the feel and necessarily the look of it on my skin on its own. Um, so, so that's it. So, that, so I know that sounds like a, a terrible review right there. Uh, but in terms of longevity, let me talk about that for a second. I think this does a pretty decent job of staying on my skin throughout the day. I haven't tested it out in my 14 plus hour days because I haven't had any of those um, in a couple of months. Um, but I will be testing it out um, in the next month or so. And that so um, I do find that it lasts uh, as long as I need it to at, uh, for right now um, so that what that means right now for me is about a 10 hour day um, and it in a 10 hour day it does last really nicely um, I like that it has um, SPF um, it says it's a brightening and that it's suitable for all skin types I don't know that it's really brightening it has that kind of glowiness to it uh, but to me that's not the same as brightening um so and because i don't quite like that finish of it i just i think um, have had a kind of negative attitude towards it now my thoughts on it have changed because i have when a foundation doesn't quite work for me and when I don't like it, I try experimenting with with um, with it uh, to try to make it work for me because I do like making foundations work, figuring out how to do it. So the way I make this foundation work for me is by applying powder on top. So one, if I apply a really good mattifying powder or like a matte powder foundation on top of it, it looks really nice. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of it is just the combination of the foundation with the matte powder, right? Um, so I've really been enjoying um, using the Cover Effects Mattifying um, Setting Powder. That has worked really well. Uh, but then I tried like setting it with powders that weren't mattifying. And I found that that actually gave me some of the best results. Um, because when you apply mattifying mattifying powder on top of a foundation that's not it's obviously altering it and what I found was that um, when I apply this um, translucent setting powder from cover effects that's not mattifying it's just a translucent powder I get the best kind of effect from it um, so let me show you what I mean by applying this um, on my face so putting it on here The white looks a little scary, doesn't it? But I am um, kind of um, applying it generously in certain areas, like on my chin and on my forehead. I am generous with the powder. And then everywhere else, I just do a light dusting of it. All right. Um, so that is what it looks like with a kind of layer of this translucent powder. And I really like it. I really like it once I apply some powder on top um, because it kind of uh, plays really well with the foundation. Um, at least these cover effects powders that I've been using have played really well with it where it doesn't completely change the foundation um, but it adjusts it enough that somebody who like me who has a lot of oil and who prefers matte foundations like I look at it and I'm like yes thumbs up and then as I track it um, throughout the day I find that it stays on uh, really well on um, 
on my face so it does help with the longevity of it um, to some extent I think because usually like a good powder um, should help with the longevity of it um, the other thing that I like doing to the foundation and this is uh, regardless of what foundation I'm using uh, but especially with this one is a setting spray so um, the setting sprays that I've been using have been the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Spray. Um, this one, so it is a mattifying spray. Like it won't turn a glowy face into super matte face. Um, so this one I've enjoyed. And I've, the other thing I've been using is this Kate Somerville Uncomplicated. This is a soft focus makeup setting spray with SPF. This is super pricey. I bought it um, about a year ago, I think. Uh, let me show you what it looks like with the Kate Somerville because this is not a mattifying spray. Um, so it's not going to alter the look of it. So there we go. That is what it looks like with the powder and um, this kind of soft focus setting um, spray with SPF. And I really like it. So this is what I I'm going to do as I continue wearing it. Um, I'm going to wear it, um, use some sort of powder on top of it, and setting spray, and that is how I'm going to get use out of my Physician's Formula um, foundation. So, will I repurchase this um, foundation? No. <laughs> uh, because it's just not my favorite, right? Like, right now, the foundations that I am um, wanting to use have more of a mattifying, uh, less glowy um, finish. So like a demi matte finish to me uh, is really gorgeous and I like it. And this one, um, but this one leans too much towards the, the glowy side. Um, now, one thing I haven't talked about in that is coverage. Um, but hopefully you've been seeing that um, throughout the demo and uh, throughout the video on my face. That it has pretty decent coverage. It's not super, super uh, full coverage because you can still see some of my acne scarring peeking through. But in terms of like the discoloration on my face, you really can't see it. Um, unless you're like really super up close on my face, it's not really that visible. Um, so in terms of coverage, this one does get um, good marks uh, from me um, because I feel like it does give you, uh, give me the coverage that I need. Um, because I have so many issues in my face, uh, hyperpigmentation and acne scarring, um, I like full coverage foundations but I don't always want a full coverage foundation. Like I have accepted that I have acne scarring and that it's not gonna go away. Um, the best I can do is diminish the look of it. And I think this does a pretty good job of doing that, of just diminishing the look of it, evening out my face and my skin tone. Um, and so in terms of that, it is good. And that is one of the reasons why I will continue using it because um, I like the coverage and I can make the, the finish of it work once I alter it um, with a few other products. So, um, so yeah, hopefully I've given you enough information that you can make a decision whether you're going to purchase it or not. Um, it's not super expensive, so it's um, worth a try if you have been looking into it um, and if they have a shade that matches you. Uh, but it, if you haven't been like really wanting to try it, I would say just skip it. I know, that's weird. <laughs> I hate, I kind of hate telling people like, oh no, stay away from this because there's always a chance that you will like it. Um, if you have, if you prefer a more glowy finish, I think um, you will like it. But if you're like me and you prefer a matte finish, I'm not sure that this is the right thing uh, to pick up. I think there are other uh, more matte foundations at the drugstore that would be more satisfying and would work better uh, for those of us that prefer a kind of matte or demi matte finish. Um, so it's kind of a, a neither fully positive nor fully negative review, just some kind of thoughts um, as I've been wearing this foundation for on and off for a few months. So let me know if you've picked it up and if your experience with it has been different, like if you love it. Hey, by all means, tell me and tell me why you love it down below. Like, I l love the fact that um, all of us could use a product and have a very different experience with it because we have a 
different skin type and different concerns and different preferences. So it's always good to get a full array of opinions on it. So hopefully um, you've enjoyed my hearing mine and it's giving you some useful information. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.